Hello, welcome back to Better Sushi Live Noting. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at latest Spectrum updates. Um, so we have now Mesh Switch Node, and this is still kind of new. And I think the developers are still working on the node, but we're gonna take a look at this anyway. So switch. So we we actually have Switch Node, which will work with any generic data. But we also have the, the mesh switch node. They are, they are both pretty powerful. Um, this one can also perhaps do this at some point. Mesh switch, of course, it's uh, for switching mesh. So we're going to take a look at that very, very quickly. So this one is probably easier to understand than this with a state of zero and one. So let's let's do this box and icosphere. So you can guess what this will do. Uh, and we can use a viewer draw and take a look at the result. So we have a box, right? This box right here. And you can still make changes and with selected so this is kind of like the switch zero or one if you actually plug in a frame into the selected when you make changes to the frame it's gonna cycle over all this uh, all this mesh data so if we use like a cylinder for the third one, you're gonna get a cylinder, of course. So box, sphere, and cylinder. You can turn cylinder into a cone if you like. Um, just like that. Maybe, yeah, that's pretty much like a cone. And if you, um, one thing that's really cool is that you can also have edge and polygon data kind of interchangeable. So if instead of supplying the polygon, you just give it edges. So you have edges and face. Uh, yeah, it will just work. And if you want to continue with this, um, you might be wondering what if for selected we have like a multiple data will it will it work so apparently it might work in the future but for now it's it's not gonna work what i mean is that what i mean if uh, we if we use like a random number here between zero and three so actually zero and one so zero one zero one so this is like a random number if we plug this into the selected uh, we are not getting multiple data yet so for now don't worry about that but we can try this uh, adaptive polygon this adaptive polygon is like the basic version of tissue add-on from Alessandro Zobarelli this one is also can be useful uh, like this Let's say we have like a like a plane. And we have polygon face. So this is what we get, right? We can center it, we can adjust the size of the grid. We can also use maybe box. So that's actually this is pretty cool. We can have multiple box grid. So that's uh you can see polygon adaptive is kind of working. And also icosphere of course. This will give you something a little bit more interesting. You can see how the adaptive try to adapt. The, the donor to the recipient and of course since we are using 
mesh switcher, we can switch the mesh. So that's a uh, that's icosphere. Well, well, yeah, icosphere try to adapt itself into another icosphere. So this is what you get. So yeah, that's a quick look at the switch node. But uh, look at the GitHub. Oops, I don't have internet. Oh, wait. if you look at the GitHub under issue and you might find the the mess switch thread and at some point we pr probably can kind of factorize the this adaptive um, uh, factorize the mess switch you can already do that kind of uh, if you are using monad if you put all this guy into the monad and then activate the factorize maybe i'll do that in the next video but for now Mesh switch is pretty cool. You can have multiple input mesh and then you can kind of quickly switch as you please. So yeah, I think this is really, really quite cool. Cool additional add-on, uh, cool notes for Spreadshop. So there you go. Hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.